Okay, on this session we're going to actually cover how to connect to your remote PBX through WinSCP. Uh, WinSCP is actually a free download you can get from the internet. Um, you can actually install it on your Windows based PC. It doesn't work on Mac. Um, for Mac users, FileZilla is a great alternative, but uh, if you're a Windows user and you want to use WinSCP instead of FileZilla, it's a, it's a great tool. Uh, alternate tool. So I'm just going to actually edit the connection here so you can see um, what it looks like if you want to set up a new connection. Uh, the file protocol is SFTP. You put in your host name or in this scenario IP address. Leave your port number alone. It's typically 22. You can put in your username and password and then uh, if you want to save that connection you can actually save it with or without the password. Okay. There are other environment variables and so on and so forth you can set over here, but uh, we're not going to concern with those. This is just basic connection. I'm going to log in. Uh, this is negotiating the connection to the remote PBX. Uh, that's what that Windows was. Window was. And now you're going to see over here on the left, I actually have uh, this is my rem my local system, a folder on my local system and on the right is actually the root of the PBX uh, you can see that because it's at the slash All right, so this is actually the slash of the drive uh, on the PBX system okay um, if I want to uh, traverse around in the folders here I can actually double click on them and open them up this way there's a way to go actually go down here and you can actually traverse back up a couple different layers if you like um, Another thing to uh, to take note of here is if you make changes to files uh, on the PBX, sometimes you need to click this refresh button here. Um, so be aware of that. It's not like a, a true real time view, uh, if, especially if you make changes. So you'll need to go refresh that if you've, you've gone and moved move files or deleted files. Um, just be aware that you need to refresh your view. Okay. Uh, we're going to actually uh, look at one of the files that we typically have edited before. Um, I can right click on this file and I can select edit and then you can see it actually opens up that file. We've seen this file a number of times. If I made a change here I could I would get a, a save button activated up here that I could actually then click on to save the file but I'm not going to make a change here. Um, some more things that I want to show you uh, if you right click on a file you go down to properties can actually do a lot of the changes that we t we taught you on the um, CLI where you can change the group or the owner um, what we used shown for um, is now pretty easily done through the GUI um, some more things you can change here is the m the modes um, remember I taught you about 777 and what it meant now you can actually see what it actually means here in a graphical representation okay so um, pretty handy tool uh, to do that type of um, changes to your files all right and actually I, I didn't mean to actually save that change but I did uh, some more things you can do with it is you can actually drag it over to your system uh, and and actually it will then copy it over to your system um, so a lot of different things we can do there I'm going to go actually change this file back to the correct properties uh, which would be asterisk and asterisk and there we go all right so now you see it's actually back to where it should be okay um, some more things you can do from this program um, if you uh, you have a, a button for putty here you can actually open putty through here um, if you s if you put putty in the right location which is uh, on your system it would be C program files putty folder I'm not going to actually open that up but you see that uh, it is a great tool that has a lot of features here um, some more of the features that uh, we haven't covered is you can actually connect to multiple systems uh, you just click on the tab button here uh, it's pretty handy for doing things like that um, this first connection here actually shows me that it's an FTP protocol versus SFTP so um, a lot of different things you can do in, in this program uh, very useful tool um, download it um, use it uh, if you have Windows uh, also you've got some menu keys down here at the bottom that uh, are also mouse clickable so I can actually click on F10 here to quit so great tool WinSCP uh, enjoy it have fun Take care.